Okay, there we go, guys. Looking pretty good. Got Suzy Q to be the line master here. Yeah, look at those fries. You got the Polish there. Yeah, Polish and it's all decked out. I've never seen fries like that. It must be some special... They call them Sidewinder fries. Sidewinder. Chicago and it's Friday uh, February 9th February 9th um, got a good show for you today what is all this let's see here my neighbor be my neighbor be my viewer be my neighbor there you go um, we got a good show for you today. It's kind of a continuation of yesterday's um, video about the angry consumer. And i um, going to delve into some reasons on why the consumer is angry. Um, got several examples uh, just from like last week here. Here in Chicago, I, uh, we covered this a few days ago. Um, we had a mysterious uh power outage grid outage whatever you want to call it um, at the british petroleum whiting refinery in um, down on the very end of lake michigan in whiting indiana uh, produces four hundred thousand uh, barrels or excuse me gallons of gas every day it's been offline for about a week and they're saying it's probably going to be offline an, another four weeks as they try to figure out listen here they finally came out with a video yesterday as they try to figure out what happened so here we are a week into this and they still don't know what happened they're going to have to go through miles and miles of piping i guess and check and look for things i don't know but um it's going to be down for a while um also yesterday lurie's children's hospital in chicago they finally came out eight days after it happened saying that um they've been uh, cyber hacked by somebody the fbi is involved and um they're reeling from this i mean they have a call center their email system, their phone system, their patient portal, and their digital record system is all offline. Um, and who knows which ones have been, uh, you know, archived or taken over by by the hackers. Um, they're really tight-lipped on on what's going on there. All I know is it's impacting patient care. It's impacting people getting access to their doctors in a timely fashion. So, uh, not good. Not good. It just kind of makes you wonder what's going on, right? We've got a lot of, a lot of things aligning at one point in time. We still have not heard anything about Metro. Metro was also in the mix about a week ago. That is the commuter rail service here in Chicago. They were going to a new system and had some difficulties and <coughs> took them like a half a week maybe, but I still haven't haven't heard if they fixed their problem or not. So uh, everything's kind of hush-hush, which makes you wonder, you know, are we getting the truth? 
And sometimes that's part of the reason why consumers get angry because they're protected from the truth. Um, so here's here's a video I'm going to show you. Well, I, one I wanted to show you a video. Um, did you see the the um, did you see the interview yesterday or the press conference that Joe gave? Joe Bergen. Joe Bergen came out of his basement and uh, gave an interview. And um, if you have time, you can you can watch it. Go find it. It was interesting. It could be a world changing interview, folks. I'm here to tell you, it was that um, impactful. It was a huge huge impact and it may change the course of the United States and or the world in the near future. So I'm not going to get into it here today, but you can go ahead and try to find that interview and watch it. Here's another one that I wanted to share with you. This was an interview that Joe did and I might explain why things are the way that they are. And we have time to make that decision. Uh, Dr. Biden is for it. This guy's rebooting in front of your eyes. He is actually rebooting. You can hear it in analog, um, you know, old ancient uh, 1.4K baud rate or something going on from the 80s. Mr. President, oh, Mr. President, Mr. President, Dr. Biden thinks that, uh, my wife thinks that, uh, uh-oh, crashed. Windows went down, folks. I'm going to play that one more time for you just to give you the full effect. To run again. And we have time to make that decision. Uh, Dr. Biden is for it. Mr. President. Oh, Dr. Biden thinks that, uh, my wife thinks that, uh, there you go that is um the meltdown that is happening in washington dc um it was spectacular so uh wasn't that good wasn't that good so let's uh, talk about fast food and what's going on in fast food Anyone that's been McDonald's came out with their quarterly results. It was, it was gangbusters, and um, there's reports where somewhere in Connecticut, some rich area of Connecticut, they're charging eighteen dollars for a Big Mac meal. Um, so here, they New York is uh, doing a little report on on how I hope this is working, guys. All right, so let's play this video. Lately, you may have got sticker shock at the drive-thru. You know, it's supposed to be cheap, quick, and an easy option, but now, as Teresa Priolo shows us, some price hikes seem to have a lot of people asking, why is fast food getting so expensive? There's no denying how delicious a fresh batch of Mickey D's fries are. Yeah, last I checked, a whole a large fry McDonald's was like four fifty or something. I know I can go to my local pub around the corner and get uh, three times as much uh, fries for for three dollars so it's expensive for McDonald's fries folks piping hot perfectly salted and also more expensive than ever I buy the mac chicken sandwich it was like one dollar something so right now it's three dollars almost four dollars as inflation continues to wage war on Americans of every income and wallet size it's also hitting what traditionally had become the cheaper up you hear that? Inflation is waging war, folks. Very rarely do you see anyone explain it that way, but that's the truth of it. Inflation is a hidden tax that is causing the consumer to go broke. Option. But for many, that's no longer the case. The average working man is not able. I'm, I'm eating a, a $2 hamburger and a small fry. And he's lucky if he can find that $2 hamburger. The McDonald's value meal seems like it keeps going up and up and up. I think the McChicken last I checked was like $2.80, um, if not more. I think I, somewhere in here they mention it's going to $3. So... Um, McDonald's just keeps going through the roof. Very rarely, I I go there. I'm always dealing with the McValue 
menu. I don't even buy a, a Big Mac or Quarter Pounder anymore. It's just not worth it. I'd rather go sit down somewhere and have a decent meal. It's because I can't afford, you know, 10 12 $14 for a meal. The reality is the cost of goods and services is taking its toll. From the cost of beef to shipments of potatoes, Carl Gould is a small business expert. Do you want to bring your cargo ship through the Panama Canal? You have to call up and bid higher to get your ship through. That means every single product in every container on those ships is now more expensive. And even still, the fast food companies are seeing a window to turn a profit. Take, for example, a Big Mac in 1978 was 90 cents. With inflation, it should be 4.09 today. It's now $6.59. In 2004, a Wendy's bacon cheeseburger was $2.79. Now it's over $7. The question remains, is this enough to turn people away from a brand they've grown up with? And once they're lost, can you get them back? I believe they've tried other ways of dealing with supply. People are putting it on their buy now, pay later cards. They're putting it on their credit cards. They're doing all sorts of things to be able to keep up that standard of living that they've known to to love and uh, enjoy but folks i'm here to tell you you got to live within your means if you're doing putting stuff on the credit cards that you can't pay off you're putting things on buy now pay later or you're you're utilizing your emergency fund to pay for stuff that is a a, a want not a, a need um you got problems you got problems and it's a matter of time before you um come to reality supply chain issues and other issues increasing their costs and i believe they're doing it now because they don't they don't see another way so you might be wondering the prices that you see today is that as high as it goes here at mcdonald's or other fast food joints the economist that i talked to said wait until you start seeing loyalty rewards something to think about have you ever seen ronald mcdonald not smiling there's a reason why that dude's smiling. It's all the money you're dumping into his pocket. Programs, membership programs, promos to bring you in. When you see that, that is a sure sign that they have reached the top ceiling of how much they can pay to entice you in. That's the latest from Little Ferry, New Jersey. Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News. Little Ferry, New Jersey. Go figure. Go figure. Let's uh, let's play something else here. Add a little humor to our video today. Let's see what we got behind this door. Nothing. Nothing behind that door. Let's try another one. Nothing. Nothing. What what happened here? What happened here? All right, well, we won't have any humor. We won't have any humor for today. Uh, let's see here. There you go. There's something. All right, well, it looks like my streaming software has got some issues, just a few. So um, I think I'm going to end for today. Um, watch out for inflation, but... Uh, Buy things you need to buy. Like we talked about yesterday, there's going to be some geopolitical stuff that's going to cause things to go through the roof, just like the Panama Canal. Sometimes it's best to buy a purchase ahead of time if you can get a good deal and you got the spare cash and you really, really need it and you don't want it. It's got to be a need, folks. Got to be a need, not a want. And then you can save a little money. So um, um, let's hope that uh, things in... Washington DC sort themselves out for the best of the U USA citizens uh, we just saw Joe melt down and reboot in front of us and um, it's been happening a while folks now reality is starting to set in in DC let's see if the the um, power brokers at large